Praise the Lord, everybody. You're watching Unveiling the End Time, and I am Brother Ayers. I want to talk about Shaquille O'Neal and the comments that he had made just recently. He was on a show, and he had referred to the earth not being a globe, but and actually being a flat earth. And this is what he strongly believes. Now, he has said that he has driven from California to Florida, from Florida to California many times. Now, um, he also goes on to say that, you know, first thing they teach you when you come to kindergarten is that, you know, 2 plus 2 is 4 and that the uh, earth is a globe and they show you a model. So he says what we do is we brainwash our children into believing something that is not true. Just like when he said Columbus sailed the ocean blue and he discovered America. Well, I believe, you know, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, but I don't believe he discovered America because just like he says, I happen to agree, the Indians were already here. They discovered America. So, you know, America, they kind of put out this false uh, educational system to manipulate the minds and, uh, and, and the students of our, of our people. You know, they want to take, you know, anything that has to do with the Bible or anything like that, and they try to scrap that and, and they put in evolution because that's one of the things that they teach us. There was this big bang and, you know, we evolved from nothing. Well, I'm sorry, it takes life to get life, okay? You, you, you can't just have a big bang and then all of a sudden we have everything that we see here. It just, it's impossible. But does the earth, does the Bible actually teach that there is a flat earth? Now, if you go with me to the, if you get, if you get your Bible and you go with me to the, to the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and let's begin, it says, in verse 6, it says, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. But if you go back to Genesis uh, chapter 1, verse 2, it says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So what we have here is that there was water, and in verse 6, it says that God separated the waters from the water. So in other words, there was like a dome, and there's waters above, and there's waters beneath, and in the middle is the firmament. But now if you go over to verse, verse 14 of chapter 1, it says, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven. So to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God, here it is, verse 17. And God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. So what we see here is that God moved upon the face of the waters, separated the waters from the waters, which gives you the firmament in between the waters above and the waters beneath. And it says here in the word of God that he put the sun, moon, and stars inside the firmament. So in other words, it's almost like it's a dome and the sun, moon, and stars and all that stuff is within our firmament. Now, there's some other teachings upon this on YouTube. You can go and you can do some in-depth search and study. Now, I've actually watched some of these videos proving that there is, in fact, a flat earth. And I have to say they're very well, very convincing. I mean, not only do they use science, uh, but they also use the Bible and how the Bible even says that the earth stands still. The earth moves not. But science and NASA, they teach you that the Earth is spinning this way and then going around the universe, you know, this way, a thousand miles an hour this way. And, you know, they just, you know, well, we say, you know, God created man and they say a big bang created all things. So, you know, this is just, you know, the Bible says and it backs up what Shaquille O'Neal had, the statement that he made that the Earth is in fact flat and it, that it's not a globe. Well, you know, that's just what the Bible says and you know but that that's just that's my opinion and my beliefs and i believe the word of god over nasa and over evolution and all that stuff so i just wanted to kind of you know talk a little bit about the comment that shaquille o'neal made because he's you know he's standing firm on it he doesn't care 
He doesn't care what people think. He doesn't care because, you know, you can go to any pilot, anyone that flies an airplane, and they will tell you themselves that there is no such thing as a globe Earth, that the Earth is flat, and that the Earth does not spin. Even Donald Trump, President Trump, before he was president, he said he's flown all over the world. And he himself even has quoted and said that he believes in a flat Earth. So there you have it. I just wanted to, uh, you know, report on that. You decide whether it's a globe or whether it's not. Um, I'm going to go by what the Word of God says, that he put, you know, the sun, moon, and stars within our firmament, our atmosphere. And the Bible even says throughout the scriptures that the earth moves not. So, well, thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to this channel. See you soon. And God bless.